Hey guys, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you from my craft room to do another tutorial with you guys, which is part of the series of crafting with COVID. Um, I actually feel much better today. I'm still a little congested, so I do apologize for that in the video, um, but I'm actually feeling a whole lot better. So lucky for me that I'm feeling better. Um, so today, what we're gonna be doing is resin on canvas. Um, this is fabric canvas that you can get at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon. Well, I mean, pretty much I think everywhere that carries art supplies has canvas. Um, this is just one that I, uh, I don't even know when I bought these. I have probably 50 pieces of canvas here in my house. Um, but anyways, so this is a piece I did yesterday. And I do apologize for the reflection of this, of the light on here. I can't really do anything about that right now. But it's just because it's so shiny um, and smooth. So I made this yesterday using four colors. I used Medallion, Funky Town, Ink, and Villain to make this. And so we're gonna go for an, a different look using different colors. I'm gonna end up giving this to my mom. Um, I did this yesterday, I told you this is all stuff that I've wanted to do and I haven't ever done. Um, I probably should have prepped the canvas as far as painting the edges because the epoxy didn't quite run over the edges like I was hoping to or it'd stay real thick and coat it. Um, so I'm going to do it again today without prepping my canvas as far as painting the edges goes because I can always go back in this back in over it like this and go over it with some acrylic paint and then do some epoxy poured over the top uh, as a final finish. Um, so this is what we're doing today and it's really cool because we're going to be using the heat gun and the different ink, the different inks, sorry, the different micas and get the cell effect that everybody really likes when these canvas, you know, when they do like the acrylic pores, but this is all using resin. So you end up with the really cool shine. It makes the canvas super strong. And it's just kind of a cool little art piece. You can hang on your wall in your craft room, your house. I mean, these are, it's just fun. Um, especially because you really don't know what you're doing until you're finished. So this is what we're doing today. I'm actually really excited about it because we're gonna be using my favorite color, which is red. Um, so the colors I'm gonna be using today are not, not, not those. Um, today I'm gonna to use O negative, mixed with some Marilyn for some extra sparkle. Uh, Villain again, ma um, medallion and charcoal are the four colors I'm using. I will be using heat gun, of course, to push the ink, the ink. I keep saying ink, it's not ink. Uh, <laughs> push the mica powder around on the canvas. Um, I'm also going to be using these little art trowels, um, and that's for the gold, uh, because it kind of makes it a really nice smooth smear, I guess is what we'll call it. Um, I haven't tried it with a popsicle stick, but I'm going to try it with a popsicle stick because I have those too. Um, but otherwise I used these yesterday and you'll see kind of why, because the way it pushes the epoxy across the canvas um so that's what i have and we're gonna go ahead and get the camera turned down and get this project started oh also i have my canvas um i think this is an eight by ten i'll have to go look but i also have these little plastic cups that i'm using as like a foot so that my canvas is not laying on the table it's up and it's elevated so the ink ink again i said ink again i'm losing my mind y'all i need to get out of my house um, so that the epoxy can run off the edges and drip onto the silicone mats. So let's get this started and see how many times I say ink instead of resin or epoxy. So let's get this started. All right, you guys, let's get this started. I did look, this is an eight by 10 canvas. It's the fabric ones that are stapled. Um, so I have these four little bitty cups here. I'm gonna set it so that they're on the wooden part of the frame, because what happens is if you put it on the underneath where the fabric is, it'll actually bubble. Um, and by bubble, I mean like the fabric gets pushed up and then you'll end up with like white spots underneath. So I have epoxy mixed up here and um, I have two ounces of each, uh, uh, two ounces in each cup. And I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna use all 
of this. But I always like to have for something like that, any type of project that's not a tumbler, I like to have a little extra just to be safe. Um, for medallion, I don't need a whole, whole lot of this. So I'm actually going to pour some of this in here, um, so that, you know, I don't, don't use too much of this. And then that way, if I need to, I can mix extra in, um, the other colors. So I'll kind of have like an extra little clear one over here to the side. All right. So for these, we've got... A medallion that's going in this little tiny cup. Um, this is how much is that? One tablespoon's worth, so I don't need a whole whole lot of medallion in there, but that's what we're gonna use. Some medallion stir, 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 stir until it's nice and incorporated. So it's got a nice, nice gold tone. So I've got that, I'm gonna set that over here. Next is some charcoal. So as y'all know, this is just a jet black and it always explodes all over my hands. So I've got, like I said, this is two full ounces of epoxy. So kind of need a little extra mix that all up in there real nice all right so charcoal and then we're going to use some villain which is our super dark purple i've kind of become addicted to this color Mm, do a little extra. All right. So villain, which is a nice deep, deep dark purple, and it's got a great pearl effect to it. Get that stirred. I'm really excited about doing this, y'all. <laughs> All right. Maybe that cup is a little out. Okay. So villain oh so pretty so pretty and then O oh, negative because red is my favorite color mm, i use this a lot for other projects all right so O oh, negative get this stirred up and then i'm going to add some maryland to it O negative is our true red mica. And I mean, and it is gorgeous red. Make sure that's nice and stirred. And then I've got an extra popsicle stick to add some Maryland to it. And so Maryland is our divas. It's just a, it, you can use it as a glitter additive to the final coat of your cups. Um, add it to your micas to give it extra, extra sparkle. And for this, it's just to give it a little extra something. All right. So we got our four colors mixed, ready to go. And <laughs> now we're going to get started. I'm going to slide this a little bit closer to me. Nope, you're not on there. All right, there we go. All right, so now comes the fun part and you just start, um, which is the part that most people have a hard time with is just starting a project. So we're gonna start with the red and you don't need your popsicle stick anymore. So you're going to take this and literally, if you want, you can try to find a design you want to go for. I have nothing in mind. So we're just going to kind of do what I did with the other one, which is just go to town. So I'm just going to pour the resin on the, on the board. 
no pattern whatsoever. I'm gonna save a little bit of it so that I can go back in and add if I need. So now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go with charcoal next. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna put it where we feel. For those of you who don't know, red is obviously my favorite color. And I have become kind of obsessed with this red, black, and gold kind of thing. So, yep. It's kind of kind of what I'm going for here. All right, so now I'm going to add villain to the spots that are left open and they don't have to be again, you don't have to be perfect. This is it's why it's art, right? It, there's no <laughs> no rhyme or reason for why we do some of the stuff we do. And then we're going to hit this with the heat gun and kind of see what we can come up with. All right, so I've got some of that saved. Now the fun part, okay. I'm trying to move some stuff here out of the way. All right, we have a hot mess, which is what we want. Now we're gonna hit it with the heat gun and I'll turn the volume down for this on the video so it's not as loud for you guys. But let's start moving this on mica around. Wow, okay, loving what I'm seeing. I love how the purple and the black blended. I'm gonna have to try to hit this with the heat gun a bit more to get this to finish flowing off the sides. I'm gonna turn that back on again. So I'm gonna hit this with, I'm gonna pour a little bit of red here on these two corners. It's having a hard time getting over those corners. So I will just help the process. All right, so now I'm gonna hit it with the gun again.
Okay. Wow. I'm so excited. Okay. This turned out so good. So next I'm going to go in with some medallion and this is just an added gold accent. Now you could just call this done and let it sit and cure overnight. And I do recommend this sitting for at least 12 hours because you really want it to have like a good, good, hard, hard cure before you pick it up and touch it. But this is what I love because right in here and across the whole board, you're starting to see the cell, what looks like cells. And what that actually is, is the air bubbles as they come up to the surface and pop, create the little, a bubble pop and it creates cells in the epoxy. And that's what makes it so much fun because you get to do this oh, and make gorgeous, gorgeous art. Okay, so I have medallion. Again, I have very, very little. Um, this is the trowel I used yesterday. And this is what we're going to use again today. So I think what I'm going to do is just, hmm, I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to go up here and this way. And mm, God, this is so tough, y'all, because I really like how it looks. And I could leave it alone, but I don't want to because... I don't know. I feel like it just needs a pop of some, some spackle. So let's do this. Um, so what I do is I dip the trowel in there so I get some resin on the back side. And here we go, guys. I'm going to go this way first. And you just take it and rub it just across the surface. And I'm going to go all the way to the edge. And you're doing it with the color on the back. I literally just swipe it off on there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm actually gonna go all the way across this way. <sighs> kind of make it look like a vein. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna hit this now with the torch, with the heat gun and fan it out a bit and you'll start to see the cells are gonna form again within the gold too. Yep. Okay. Absolutely love this. Absolutely, absolutely love how this looks. Oh, okay. So, um, my epoxy on the edges, I mean, this is done. I'm not, I do not want to touch this again. I'm going to add, use my blowtorch though to get some extra bubbles popped. Um, but I am going to go around the edges and just take the epoxy that's fallen on the silicone mat here and get it so it covers the entire edges. Um, this is covering better than the one I did yesterday with the circle, um, which is good because I kind of wanted it to, I want it to cover the whole edges and make it so it's nice and, you know, res basically epoxied over and it's actually sticking really well. So we're going to go ahead and round, round and round and round we go, right guys? All right, so we're going <laughs> to spackle, spackle, or as my mom would say, putty and paste makes it what it ain't. All right, so. <laughs> and this is going to, of course, it's still going to continue to flow over the edges and drip. And gosh, y'all, that's so pretty. I'm really loving how this one turned out. This is going to stay in this room and hang up on the wall. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna just go around the edges and I'm gonna not talk to myself while I do this. <laughs> Cause that's what I do when I do videos. Okay, so 
There it goes. I need my torch. All right, blow torch time. I really like how this looks and I know I said I wasn't going to touch it. However, I want to put a little bit more gold in there. <laughs> so I'm going to use my other little trowel here and put in some more gold veining. Just a little bit, y'all. This is a little different. I'm not like, what's the right word? <laughs> Spreading it on there. I'm just going to drizzle it and then use the heat gun again because I'm insane. I love how it looks, but I wanted a little more gold in there. All right, so let's give it a heat, hit it with heat gun, move that around, see what happens. Okay, now I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, you guys. So that's my video for you guys today for crafting with COVID. And I am not gonna touch this again. Um, it will, of course, as it cures, because it's still heated, heated up, it is still continuing to kind of slowly drip off the edges. Um, I will sit here for the next probably 10 minutes and just take the trowel and scrape the little drips underneath. And that's just so when it's finished curing, there's not the little, little driplets hanging off the bottom. And that way it's easier to hang on the wall. So that's it, you guys. This is the video. I will come back and show you guys what this looks like once it is finished. And I'm so excited with how this turned out. So glad I chose those colors. Okay, cool. So we'll come back as soon as this is finished cured and give you guys the final results. So see you guys soon. Okay, y'all, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I was trying to get some more bubbles to pop. And so I have rubbing alcohol in this spray bottle. And when I did it, it added some more cells. So I figured, hey, I'd show you guys how, it, what I did. So I literally just have a spray bottle, did a little spritz and it really brings the cells up to the surface whenever the bubbles pop. So I wanna do it one more time so y'all could see it really coming through. So that's all. So I'm gonna come back again once this is cured and show you guys the final result. Okay, you guys, here it is, all finished. I absolutely love how this turned out. The cells that came popping through are incredible, which makes me super happy. So this is it, all finished, ready to go on the wall. Um, it did on the edges, as you can see, it did cover a lot better on the square than it did on the circular one that I made. Um, but I mean, I love how this looks. This is awesome. I can hang this on the wall now. It's going to go in here somewhere on one of these walls. Um, but I mean, God, it turned out great. So I'm really excited with how this looks. I'm going to have to take a really good picture of it so I can put it in the front of the video for the title. But this is amazing. I honestly cannot wait to see what you guys come up with with making resin pours on canvas because honestly the possibilities are I mean completely endless. I have a ton more canvas and now that I've done this now twice I really want to do more of these and I'm really excited about it. So what we're gonna do is get another video done tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet but we'll see and I uh, will see you guys again soon. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up with a like as well as to click that notification bell and subscribe so you never miss any of our videos. Otherwise, join our Facebook group on Glitter Ch on Facebook, which is Glitter Chimp, 
and never miss anything that we add on there, such as deals and all that stuff. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to get all of this posted so you guys can all see it. And I will see you guys again soon.